In this video, I'm going to teach you how to memorize a feeling state and impress it into the subconscious mind. That way you have access to it anytime you want because repetition is key when you're trying to manifest and create a new version of yourself or shift your identity. And I'm gonna give you several different techniques that you can use and you can pick one or you can use all of them to learn how to take advantage of feeling states because as we know, feeling is a secret. And when you're manifesting things and you can feel that accepted end and you can impress it into the subconscious mind and trick the subconscious mind to believe that you already have something, then it will produce that in your visible world. So really this is the key to manifestation in the secret is to memorize a feeling state because feeling is the secret. And once you have access to the feeling of your wish fulfilled and you know what that is and you've memorized that feeling, you can go back to it anytime you want throughout the day. As soon as you wake up in the morning, whenever you take a break, you can set timers on your phone to go back to this and touch on this feeling state until the subconscious mind is tricked and it thinks that you already have this because that's the key. It's just tricking the subconscious mind to believe that you are the person now that already possesses the things that you want and then you shift in the multiverse and you get exactly that because the subconscious mind is impersonal. It only knows what you tell it through your feeling states and what you're conscious of because consciousness is God itself, and you are a part of God. You are the conscious part of God. And the subconscious part of God is actually what creates everything into the visible world and is projected from inside of you out. But you have control over the subconscious mind with your conscious states and what you're conscious of and who you are conscious of being. So when you create, a person or an identity that has all of these things or whatever it is that you desire and you impress the and you impress the subconscious mind you fall asleep and you impress the subconscious mind with this new feeling state of having all these things of being this person that now possesses something and you do this with repetition and feeling is the secret and you memorize that feeling state you're always touching upon it and once you tell the subconscious mind this so many times and you make that 100% impression it has no choice because it's impersonal and you are in control of it. So when you make this impression into the subconscious, it has to appear in your visible world. And if you're having difficulty with manifestation, it's probably because you are not creating a feeling state and using this with repetition and really changing your identity because you don't truly get what you want. You get who you are. And that's where it's stated, you can't think of something, you gotta think from it. Because when you're thinking of something, you're just thinking of something that you want. And when you're thinking from something, you're thinking of that you are the person that now possesses it and you are it. You're thinking of it in the first person rather than the third person. When you think of something that you just want, I want this, and you're visualizing yourself having it, then you're only you're thinking of it in the third person. Because when you, when you start thinking from something, you become the thing and you're actually the thing and you're playing your part within that movie in the visualization. So never forget that it, you must become the thing. You must think from the thing and not of the thing because thinking of it is just something that you want and it's at a distance from you. When you think from it, you're actually the person that possesses it. And remember, the subconscious mind or God is impersonal. It doesn't have a motive of its own. It only knows what you tell it, what you're, of what you're conscious of, of your world. But with memorizing feeling states, I want to give you an example of how you use this. And I'm going to give you the first example of an affirmation and what an affirmation does and memorizing an affirmation. Like, I am whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. In order, to, in order for me to say that affirmation, I had to memorize it, okay? And it's creating feeling states within me. But the more that I use it, like for a while, I had to write it down. And I had to read it just to be able to memorize it. But eventually, it's programmed as a memory within the subconscious. And I have access to that, fe that, that feeling or that affirmation anytime that I want to. So I can repeat that anytime. I have memorized that affirmation as a feeling state. As a feeling state, I am whole, perfect, strong, powerful, loving, harmonious, and happy. And I can go back to that feeling anytime I want. Anytime that I'm reacting to the three-dimensional world. 
or I or I feel like everything is is working against me and my manifestation isn't coming, I can repeat that affirmation because I've already memorized that feeling state from that affirmation because I've memorized it so many times and I can just repeat that, get right back on schedule. Or you can use a visualization. If you create a visualization of the end result, say, for example, it's a relationship or it's having, you know, or winning the lottery. If you wanted to win the lottery, you would imagine yourself three months after you had already won and you're with your family and with your friends, you're, you, you have more money than you could imagine. And, and they're telling you and they're congratulating you on how successful you are or how much money you have. And you're just, you're in love with life and you're grateful and you're thankful and you're, and you're in the wish fulfilled. And you imagine this scene over and over and you, and you capture that feeling because you've, because you visualized it. You visualize it, say, 100 times or even 20 times. So you've captured that feeling. You know what it feels like now. The, the visualization has now created that feeling. You've memorized it. So now that you have that memorized, you can always go back to the feeling itself rather than just go to the visualization or go back to the, the affirmation. You know what it feels like. So then when something's happening in your three-dimensional worlds, you're going to know what that feels like because you've memorized it. You've done it so much through repetition. You can always go back now. Instead of visualizing it, you know what it feels like because you captured that feeling. You captured the feeling from the visualization or the affirmation. You know what it feels like because you've done it so many times. So now you can just go back and say, okay, you can meditate just for a second and then you create this feeling state again because you've memorized the feeling and the subconscious mind then feels that and then it starts shifting you fractionally in the multiverse to be the person that already has that. And as you do this, it becomes programmed within you to do it. And you're constantly doing that within the subconscious and you memorize this and it becomes easier and more simple all the time because now it's like automatic to you. Repetition is key in changing your concept of yourself and memorizing feeling states. And actually one of my favorites that I use for this is actually asking myself questions. Like I've used this so many times to manifest things to come into my life. If something didn't go the way that I wanted it to go, I would ask myself a question, you know, before I went to sleep, you know, I'd do it like maybe five or 10 times. I would ask myself, okay, so if this went the way that I wanted it to go, how would I feel right now? And that creates, it ultimately creates a feeling and because your inner dialogue creates pictures in your mind. And from those pictures is a feeling state of the accepted end at the end of that imaginal act that automatically happened when you ask the question. So when you find that feeling state, you do it over and over, you know what it feels like. So you no longer have to ask the question. You don't have to affirm. You don't have to visualize anymore. Once you capture the feeling, once you memorize a feeling of everything's working out for you perfectly, everything in your entire life is working out beautifully, you know everything's gonna work out for you, and you've done this with repetition, and you've memorized that feeling state, that everything is working out for you perfectly. You've done it so many times that you've now memorized that feeling state. So whatever happens in your three-dimensional world, now you can always go back to that memorized feeling state. When something pops up in your world that is totally contradictory towards your manifestation, you go right back to that feeling and you're like, okay, nope, everything's working out for me perfectly in my life. And I know this, this is happening for my benefit. This is leading me to my wish fulfilled. And you move towards something else. You don't hold your attention on that. Therefore, the subconscious mind doesn't feel that negativity and it doesn't react to that because you're not reacting to that. Because remember, you're in control of the subconscious mind. You are in control through what you're conscious of from your feeling states and, and, and your assumptions based on that. So what are you assuming in your world? What are you becoming emotionally charged about? What are these feeling states of the accepted end as you're, as you're going throughout your day? Because sometimes there'll be past traumas in your life that will throw blocks up from your inner dialogue. These old things, will, patterns will come back up, but you have to avoid those until you memorize this new way of thinking. And eventually the subconscious mind is going to feel that you're an entirely different person than you were in the past. You are no longer that person that you were in the past and then your whole world's going to shift because it's going to shift you in the multiverse and then those patterns and those blocks, those things that start happening that contradict your manifestations are going to go away 
because this that's the old version of you. The old version of you may still be there a little bit, and that's what's blocking your manifestations. But as you use repetition and you memorize feeling states and then you change your concept of yourself through these memorized feeling states, eventually that old version of you is going to be completely gone. And then you're going to have access to this feeling states of this new version of you. So it's like a process that, that may take a little bit of time depending on the level of focus and, it, and the ability to, of your concentrated attention. How well can you concentrate and, and, and memorize feeling states and use those with, through repetition without your mind going 100 different directions? Because the world now is designed, you know, that we need, you know, sh all this short content, all this dopamine, you know, from all of this, all of these distractions in the three dimensional world that are actually taking away a lot of that power that you have. So, another recommendation that I would give you is to stop watching any short content at all. I mean, even, even if it's, even if it's in the law of assumption, I would get away from all, even, even my own short content, I would get away from all of that. If you have any problems with your attention and holding your attention on one thing for a long period of time, like feeling states, just get away from those completely for a little bit, for a little bit of time until you can master these techniques, but start memorizing these feeling states. Cause essentially you can use that with anything affirmation. You memorize the feeling from that affirmation. You memorize the feeling from a visual visualization, you memorize the feeling from scripting, you memorize the feeling from asking yourself questions. And once you do that enough, you memorize the feeling state. And then you have access to that feeling state at all times. And it's actually impressed into the subconscious. And then eventually your entire version of yourself is, is shifted and changed. And now all these other things are going to go away. Your old version of yourself is going to be gone. And you'll find that a lot of the blocks that you're having are going to start vanishing and disappearing as your mindset starts changing and these new feeling states are impressed into the subconscious. So what I want you to do is start using this, these techniques to memorize your, your feeling states, the feeling of the accepted end. Okay. That's what this is. So you're, you're accepting the feeling you're memorizing the feeling of the accepted end. And then you're, you're, you're memorizing this completely. That way you don't have to do a visualization. You don't have to do an affirmation. You don't have to do any scripting. You already know what it feels like. You've already memorized it because you've done it so much. So whenever anything's happening, you can do this all day long and impress the subconscious mind with it and not have to continue with all these other things. Once you memorize it, you, you have created a foundation of this, of this feeling of the accepted end, whatever that may be that you're trying to create. All right, that's the end of this video, but I'm also going to put a card on the screen for a sleep meditation that will bring massive amounts of great things to come into your life. And I want you to start listening to that at night. If you're not already listening to it, it's one of my newer sleep meditations with alpha waves, theta waves, and delta waves. And it's, it's designed specifically to create feeling states as well and memorizing these feeling states with repetition into the subconscious. So I'm going to put that card on the screen for you. Listen to that as you fall asleep at night to create these very powerful feeling states, impressing them into the subconscious and creating an entirely new world for yourself. All right, I love you guys. And don't forget to give me one thing you are grateful for, and I will see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.